Hey everybody, we are going to do a video on repairing this Mitsubishi DLP projector. It is a model EX240. It's an older projector, not a bad projector, but it is older. It's about five to eight years old. They were made from 2010 to 2013. A uh, nice projector too, even though it's a little older. They're a 2500 lumen with uh, only a 185 watt lamp, which is good. Uh, it's not real high def. Uh, it'll do 720. These are 1024 by 768. So, you know, it's not a, a 1080, but it'll uh, it'll do good. And it's, it's not a large projector, which is nice. So it's in here because there are allegedly dots on the screen. That's usually caused by a bad DLP chip. And just for the heck of it, I want to uh, just kind of give it a once over before I plug it in. There we go. I'm going to get the check, take the lamp out and see what that looks like. I see some characteristic dust, evidence of dust right here. A lot of evidence of dust actually see that right there that's uh you don't want that it's both of those oh yeah haven't worked on one of these in a while these are similar to an in focus too if i remember correctly i forget which in focus i, I think it was an in 34 to get the lamp out they actually have a removable plastic cover most people lose these after one or two lamp replacements. I'm kind of surprised to still see it. Boy, they got that screw in tight. Usually these are captive, but that one's not. Let's lift you guys up a little. And that back connector comes out. There's the lamp. This lamp looks like it ran really hot. It's only about a year old, but that is a ceramic label. These are not plastic. They're made out of a ceramic. And when they get really hot, they just kind of crumble like that. Really hot. So this had to have gotten really hot and looking at looking at the exhaust shield right here, I'm sure it looks that way. This is really discolored. I have a feeling this thing's gonna be full of dust as well. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, look uh look in here. This shouldn't be there. This is this is really bad. Here I'll zoom you in. I can get it to uh there we are you can kind of see all that dust there let me get a flashlight and do i have one on me no of course not that'll light it up a little bit you can see right there all that dust that's the lamp blower fan down there that opening that forces air in through uh, this vent here. And inside that vent, there's two ducts that guide the air into the bulb. So this thing's filthy. You can even see the top of the lamp. That discoloration, it should be like this color, not that color. So this ran really hot. My uh, gut tells me the projector is full of dust and the dust overheated the DLP chip. So before I even fire it up to see what's to see how bad the picture really is, I uh, need to get all the dust out and see if there's anything else that overheated. So let's open it up. Oh. 
I bought this, geez, probably 20 years ago to use for boom boxes because you needed something that would get all the way into the front, had to reach to the front, and they were using short screws with these long holes that you'd have to get your screwdriver to fit through. And a standard screwdriver was always just barely too short. And this one just makes a comfortable screwdriver as well. This back corner is kind of chewed up from the uh, mount. They have a projector mount on it, and it looks like somebody tried to uh, grind that down to fit it in there. I guess if it's ceiling mounted, you're not going to see it, but I don't think I would have done it that way personally. All right, so that's all five from the bottom. Let's get the lens cover out of the way, which is also full of dust. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You can see the dust around the lens, too. Then, do I have to take out anything in the back? Maybe that one. Let's see. Well, they have an arrow pointing to it. So that's either a fur ground or that's to hold the back on. So since there's an arrow, I'm going to take it out. Probably has nothing to do with moving the top, though. And we have one right here. There's dust falling out already. So now, should be able to pop this off. Oh, let's get that screw. And we're just gonna gently pop the top loose. keyboard the buttons push through and you can see this thing is filthy not the dirtiest but it's one of them all of that dust down there none of that should be there and this is that's pretty ugly in there yeah this looks like it's one made by Cortronic for Mitsubishi they also made one, they made models for in focus. Take this cover off. Lee, move the color wheel wire. And we'll get that screw loose. Now, once I take the cover off. Take a couple of the rear screws out. See, this is going down around the connectors, too. So we need to get those off. Let's see, five millimeter.
don't know if these two have to come out, but might as well.